All right, moving right along. Let's. We just got FaceTime. Now we're gonna go return home. Go. Where are we going? Okay, hold up. Yeah, right. I knew I'd find it. See what he wanted. He just FaceTimed us. Uh, where are we at? Oh, there we are. Found it. Knew I'd find it. Let's get some rest. Every time I see that shirt, man. What the? Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Who is this? Chick from the bar? Good to see no, you. That ain't her, is it? No, that's not her. Don't worry. It's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again. Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. Check yourself. She's a lawyer too. She's got the little <clears> pin. <throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamra of the Matsugane family. You're involved. Aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. You can't let donuts sit in front of her either. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Or whatever those things were. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges. They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is? Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution Touchy have subject. any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Why you say that? I think it suits me just fine. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. She could have just called. <laughs> He's right. How you say that? Meth. I don't even want to try to pronounce it. I will butcher it. I will butcher it. Mafia. Mafia. Not so fast. Who are you? Chief Man, back up. And Yagami-kun, what are you doing? About to karate size your ass. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. You better. Before I make you eat the pavement, bro. Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumida. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not going to try to say that name either. So you're defending Hamura, huh? <clears throat> nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home off of you. Later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even so? after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. I only won because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumita. It's okay. He looked look like he's holding in a fart. Thanks for thinking <laughs> of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. Kaito Song. So, that's how you do? say his name. About the case. Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there too. Got it. See you over there then. What is it now? Look, just uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. Count to I'll ten. Give you a breather. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Small favor. What do you need? What do you need? I'm busy. I've got things to do. A model figure. Limited edition. Damn right it's limited. No back seat. No cup holder. Bad boys. No. <laughs> Never felt comfortable outdoors. Kit. Can't go to the damn store. I don't know why I just did that with the GPS, but... Can't even follow that right. Yo, this map is weird to me. Like, it doesn't rotate with you, so it's... Where's the damn store? Is it right here? No. Maybe right here. Excuse me. Out the way. There we go. Let's go by this figurine, whatever this thing is. Yo, let me talk to you. I can sell? <laughs> That's the figurine he wants? Really? Okay. How would he even know the pawn shop have it? Yeah, how would he know? Sitting behind that computer. Probably knows everything going on in the world. Well, all right. Street cone. Still as big as me. I've never seen a street cone as big as a person before. I guess they have them, but I just... I've never seen that. Oh, y'all want some? Come on. Let's go. Really? Really? Got him.
Is he still not? Does he even shower? Does he ever leave this cafe? <clears throat> I just walked in here so aggressively. Everybody's just chilling. Was... All right, let's see what you got. Hey, here's your figurine, bro. They gonna show it, or is he just gonna? Yeah, I figured that. You're welcome. <laughs> he looks like Hideo Kojima, man. orders <laughs> yeah he never would have spoke to anybody in the world like I wonder why they don't have the dialogue for this. Because <laughs> it's a side mission or what? Cool. All right. What now? Who are we going to talk to? Go up here, see what they got. What they gotta say. Wait, I'm not going the right way, am I? Yeah, I am. No, I'm not following the GP. I am not going the right way. Wow. Wow. Stay the path. Stay the path. Then you're son. Oh, y'all want some? Come on, let's go. Wait, how do I change? Damn, that looked waste. like that hurt. <laughs> I ain't gonna hit you. See him back away like I was gonna hit him. Here you go. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? All right, damn. Sit down. So... I love how I had me do that. Some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first, hmm? just don't forget your role in all of this, especially you, Yagami. At the end What's of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani Sensei? <laughs> That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Suspicious. Victim was a Kansai thug, bottom feeder with the Kyore clan, Toshiro Kume. 
Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two yeah, puncture wounds. Eyes straight through the eyes. Out. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice <clears throat> pick, pierced right into his brain. <sighs> My Ooh. eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Yo, Looks like the murder I... weapon went through Kume's eyes and tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Yo, I got a phobia about eyes. Like, remember the movie Ace Ventura where he touched his eye like that? Freaked me out. He said he used an ice pick on his eye. Hmm. What's this? What am I looking at here? Hmm. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. Yep. When the body was found. Hmm. <laughs> All right, shoes, no. Hands, look at the hands. What's that? Oh, I already looked at that. <laughs> nothing was found in Kume's pockets. pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at Amor. Doubt there's any traces left at this point, but it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume, just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Three blind mice. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? Yep. Turf war. Go on. All right. This is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. December 3rd just around nine o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. I like Baldwin. Up to that point, Baldwin. their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he Don't drove a it. sharp weapon into Don't Kume's do eye, Don't show it. killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no mean? evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 
6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. Yeah, they killed him, then and dumped him And one week there. later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. You wouldn't Too be able sloppy. to find the body. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Somebody Agreed. planned this. They planned uh, That's Arshintani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> what? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. We can do Our it. only job here is defending Hamra. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kumi's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the hmm. Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Marase. Huh. <laughs> You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's the deal, remember? The deal, my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine.